बिके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन थ्री ऑफ टू थाउजेंड इलेवन आई एस सी कंप्यूटर साइंस प्रैक्टिकल पेपर सो आफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आई एम गोइंग टू फॉलो माई यूजल स्ट्रेटी रीड द क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंड क्लियर माई सेल्फ ऑफ ऑल डाउट्स प्रिपेयर एंड आउटलाइन प्रिपेयरिंग एंड आउटलाइन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट यू आर इन द राइट डायरेक्शन ऑफ कोडिंग गिव सम फिफ्टी मिनट्स टेन मिनट्स टू ब्रेक डाउन द प्रॉब्लम एंड एनालाइज हाउ यू गोइंग टू प्रोसीड एंड दैन आई एम गोइंग टू कोड इट सो द क्वेश्चन सेज डिजाइन आर प्रोग्राम विच एक्सेप्ट योर डेट ऑफ बर्थ इन डी डी एम एम वाई एफ आर्ट ओके दिन मंथ इयर चेक विद अ डेट एंटर इज वैलिड और नॉट ओके इफ इट इज वैलिड डिस्प्ले वैलिड डेट ऑल्सो कंप्यूट एंड डिस्प्ले द डे नंबर ऑफ द इयर फॉर द डेट ऑफ बर्थ इफ इट इन वैलिड डिस्प्ले इन वैलिड एंड कमेंट द प्रोग्राम ओके this is one question that comes into my mind it is valid date so do i enter some strings here i guess not because all these sample test cases are just in uh, is just asking the input in the integer form okay and then i have to print the day number as well so you'll have we'll have to, i'll have to do some thinking about how to convert this month this day into the day number but i'll figure it out so the question is clear to me so i'll get on to coding so i will write the main method public directory void main string here yeah, is okay scanner class to read input from the user scanner scanner is equals to new scanner system dot i always tend to close the scanner so dot close Okay, so the first thing I need to read. Oh, I need to first prompt for this. Enter the date. This so print the line to ask the user to input put the date. So system out dot print ln. So I need to enter the date about the form. Okay. This is done, and then I'm going to read the three values. Read the date. So int date is equals to scanner dot next int. Similarly, date month and month and year. Okay. So I can write a complete different method for validating the date, and so I will method. to validate the date static boolean is valid date int dt int mm int yy or i can say dmy just to make it simple dmm y okay okay validate the day okay validate the month first so if m is less than 1 or m is greater than 12 return false because this is not a valid month less than 1 or greater than 12 is not valid month okay e then validate the day if d is less than 1 or d is greater than 31 we return false okay for year i assume the year is not going to be invalid or we'll just check for positive years check for positive years if y is less than 0 return false okay there's one more check you can make you cannot have maybe the year which is greater than the current year so you can have maybe if y is less than 0 or y is less than 1 sorry or or maybe y is greater than current year which is 2018 so you can have greater than equal to current year which is 2018 so you can add something like this i'm just not going to add it so this is something this this is a kind of kind of a doubt which you can ask your tutor or instructor if you are doing it at the practice video okay now we check for month day and year now we to check if this is a leap year if this is a leap year okay so we'll have to add a method to check for a leap year check this is a leap year static boolean is leap year int n int y sorry so if this is a leap if this is divisible by 
return false so this is a standard check for leap year if y percent 400 is equals to 0 return true sorry return true sorry 400 means it's true then it if it is divisible by 100 then it is false so 100 is equal to return false again if it is divisible by 4 then return true else return false this is the check for leap year so boolean is leap year or is leap is equals to uh, is leap year of y okay so if this is leap year then the days can be 29 otherwise they cannot be 29 so check days for given month so if m is equals to 1 that is january or month is equals to 3 which is january march or m is equals to may which is then june then sorry july and august september escaped october is checked and december so january january february march may july august october december they have to have can have 30 days if d hmm, okay uh, they can have 30 day, 31 days and we have already had a check for 31 so maybe we will check for january uh, we'll check for February separately. So there's nothing to be done here. So I simply return true because my check for the days is already done, and this does not involve February. Check for days for give for month with thirty one days. Okay. Else, if m is equals to, we'll skip. We'll do February separately. Else, if to so 1 to 12 m will be that is for sure so 1 to 3 4 april may june july august september october and november if day is 31 turn false if day or d is equal to 31 turn false or maybe day is greater than 30 directly else return true okay and for m is equals to 2 if is leap then days can be 29 so if d is greater than 29 i return false else return true similarly if it will not leap and if day is greater than 28 i return false else i return true and this is for the ones which have for months with 30 days okay so this is done is valid date is checked so validate the date okay so if is valid date dmy if not is valid date sorry show message okay and the message will be uh, invalid date system dot out dot print ln invalidate i terminate the program else i print valid date and then i print the get the number of days the number of days okay static print get day number and t print m y okay so int day number is equals to get day number d and 
maybe I just need don't need Y here I just need D and M and I'll print the day number system dot auto print the print element day number okay so this is I just need to calculate the day number now okay so add days for all months for int int i is equals to 1 i is less than equal to m i plus plus and i keep adding days from january till the given month so i'll take an array days days is equals to 31 28 or maybe you can add a turn it okay it will be very complicated 31 30 31 30 31 31 30 31 30 31 30 31 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay 3 3 9 3 10 and I'll add a dummy value 0 so that it starts the index starts from 1 and I can I guess I will leave into y to check for new year so if this is leap year if if is leap year y leap year y then days of 2 plus plus increment in day in 2 and keep adding the days or maybe I'll do this less than m and I'll add the given day for the given m so days so this is I'm doing less than m because if I I add to for example it is the third of the given month so I want to stop before the month so I can add three days for that month okay so the day number int dn is equals to zero dn plus is equals to days of i and add final days days dn plus is equals to d return return dn and my code is done so let me just quickly compile and check does it if it works illegal dot oh, i have two dots at multiple places which is line number 117 around so which is two dots two dots and two dots okay Oh, cannot find symbol because dm y okay oh date month or maybe I'll just do it d m and y Sixty nine, and I'll have to add a dummy return so I can simply do it here. Remove this, and it should work because this will carry for month. Okay, so Java C. three okay now first test case is 0501 2010 0, 5, 0, 1, 2010 valid date 5 okay 0304 2010 0304 2010 93 it says 93 it is 34 6 and 2010 34 6 and 2010 invalidate so I'll check for a leap year uh, 29 02 2000 validate okay 29 31 60 okay so my program is just fine so I hope you like this video please do subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thank you for watching